everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to open some free to play player rewards. As you can see, I have saved up 28,000 gems for throughout the season T1. And as you can see, I have already have the Conqueror Artifact Compendium. And of course, um, like depending how you went the last season, like did you manage to get the Flame Dragon or Magma? It depends which kind of rewards you are going to get. Like at first, like the best rewards are of course Anointed. Then is Conqueror and the least uh, good is Enduring. Uh, my main priority right now is a free to play player to get um, artifacts because I think at the end of the season rewards like this Conqueror Artifact Compendium is the best way for free to play players to get artifacts which are exclusive uh, in terms of like uh, these artifacts uh, like for example Rattle Spear, Infernal Flame, you won't be able to get them like from the normal uh, keys, normal chests so uh, this is the best opportunity for everyone, I guess, to get the artifacts they want. Like, for example, for myself as a marksman main and as a Kinara player, I would ra love to have Rattle Spear because Rattle Spear is the main artifact for Kinara. But let's imagine that I don't, I, I won't gonna have luck in terms of Rattle Spear. My second choice would be Shadow Blaze, uh, because yet again I'm a Marksman main, and of course Inferno Flame, simply because it's an exclusive artifact, and you always want to have as much uh, things in the game, because Call of Dragos is in general uh, collection type of game. Of course, uh, Kingslayer can be fine uh, for the cavalry units, but unfortunately I'm not a cavalry player, and in general I think uh, Cavalry Malijan is not one of the weakest ones so far in the game, which needs some love in the future, but let's see, maybe you know, we will have stronger Cavalry players and in general Cavalry Legions in the future. Other than that, I think like for example Spring of Silence, I got it last season ending rewards. Uh, Dragon Rift, I already have it. Uh, Tier of Arborn, that's the only artifact I have on level 3. And like honestly, I don't want to get another Tier of Arborn. Uh, also, the Storm Peak is an artifact for Forondil, and I'm not generally using Forondil at all. Uh, Storm Arrows, I already have Storm Arrows. Same with Wolf Woman of Halo, Lucius Horn, and Fang of Ashgari. That's the artifacts I already have. And of course, if you will think twice, you will understand that the all the artifacts which you can see on the bottom row is not the artifacts you want to get in general from here. Uh, let's hope um, that we are going to get the artifacts we need, but of course the percentage is pretty low uh, because honestly, I want to have it like three artifacts from all of these, and uh, like in terms of percentages, it will be pretty low. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to use all of my gems um, on the artifact compendium because I want to use my gems on Wheel of Destiny 2 uh, because as we already know we are getting two new marksman uh, heroes, legendary heroes from the Wheel of Destiny and I want to try my luck. Uh, I hope I will get at least one of them and it will be super super amazing if somehow I will be able to get uh, both of the marksmen legendary heroes let's try and let's open uh, this uh, conqueror artifact compendium uh, at first i will try to open the first 10 and depending on results i will uh, think twice and i will see how far i can go uh, with my gem spending because yeah as a free-to-play player spending gems is one of the most crucial aspect of the game because you won't be you won't be able to have a lot of gems uh, throughout the game as a hundred percent free-to-play player like me uh, let's start, let's um, wish myself a good luck and let's hope that I will get Rattle Spear, that will be number one choice, then Infernal Flame and then Shadow Blades. That's the three artifacts I want to see uh, from this compendium. Let's roam one by one. Um, first one is uh, Epic One, Magic Bomb. Well, I have mentioned many, many times. If you don't have Mage uh, Legendary Artifact, you are going to use uh, Magic Bomb, which will be totally fine if you don't have any other Legendary ones. Uh, let's see how fast we are going to get the legendary artifact from this compendium. Archery Master's Manual. Um, actually, I have almost every single 
uh, epic artifact in the game and that's why I don't have any reaction whenever I see epic ones from this uh, compendium. Butchered Blade, the um, infantry is epic artifact, nothing special. Uh, let's see and let's, uh, let's have uh, luck maybe uh, because we are getting too much uh, epic ones. Bombflinger, my epic artifact for marksmen, uh, nothing super special. Now we open, it's a fifth uh, chest, the Butcher's Blade again. Uh, in After like five uh, attempts, uh, we will have a PT and we will have a guaranteed legendary artifact. I hope um, I will get um, sooner uh, without using five uh, uh, like opening keys, right? Uh, the sixth one is again epic one homecoming uh, blossom uh, nothing really impressive nothing really special i hope my luck will kick in uh, soon rather than later and i will be able to see legendary one uh, portion of vigor i think that's the artifact for building and the construction engineering uh, maybe uh, like if someone doesn't have it uh, they will be happy but i already have it so uh, there is no reaction from my side uh, again epic one i guess we don't have enough luck to not go to the pt uh, yep finally that's a legendary one i guess uh, one attempt was left until the 10th one um, last time whenever i had this opportunity i got uh, spring of silence which is for infantry and i don't really care about infantry now let's hope um, in this case i will have enough luck and i will have my suitable legendary artifact First would be Rattle Spear, that will be amazing. Second one should, will be Shadow Blades and then Infernal Flame. Any of these three I will get, I will be super super happy. And let's see uh, if uh, the lack of gods will look at me and they will say, okay, give to this man whatever he wants. Uh, let's see king slayer well um well as i have mentioned before i'm not a cavalry player uh before when i started the game i wanted to have king slayer uh because it was the main and the best artifact for cavalry players but after that long time have been passed and i think uh, Kingslayer has a better options um, in the future but yeah i guess it's much better than the supportive artifacts which you can get from the uh compendium uh like such as like lucius horn i don't want to have it kuratas and the wolf of woman like there is there was a lot of chance that i would had um the artifact which i 100 percent don't want it but at least i got like force choice like kingslayer was force choice uh, maybe i can draw a couple of more if i will have luck like i don't know let's see um like it was pretty close in terms of pt uh, for me uh i'm not sure i'm not i don't have enough gems to draw a 10 again uh but maybe i will get lucky and i will have the artifact which i have always wanted honestly which is a uh, rattle spear again we are getting more and more epic ones um like that's normal uh, i hope i'm gonna see the yellow circle um, pretty soon if not then i guess i still have a couple of days to uh, gather some gem yep again well uh, come on now we have a uh, two chances uh, first chance was kingslayer if i will see rattle spear uh, from this draw i will be super super happy even shadow blades all right uh, but uh, honestly i'm already happy that i will have uh, two legendary artifacts at the same time uh, let's see uh, first chance was kingslayer and let's see what kind of uh, uh, luck we are going to have come on yes finally i was managed to get my favorite uh, legendary heroes artifact which is rattle spear finally i can sleep in a piece because that was the artifact i always wanted from the day one because it's pretty easy to understand that this artifact is the weapon of kinara and as a free-to-play player uh, like i only legendary hero i have awakened is kinara so i really really wanted to have rattle spear to have a full build and finally i was able to get it um, i uh, like i guess all the gems i have spent was worth it honestly uh so like yeah i i can't ask for nothing more 
uh, this is like most perfect timing for me because slowly I was losing my hope in terms of artifacts and finally uh, the artifact which I have always wanted is with me and I will be able to level up this artifact of course it will be really really hard for a to play player to uh, level up this skill which is wishes strike but at least I'm going to have uh, March speed reduction, defense break, uh, defense penetration, which is basically the main stats for Nico and Kinara, which is my main legion. Uh, thanks to the god of luck, uh, because uh, he or she gave me the best uh, possible artifact which I have wanted. It was my main choice, and I am super happy, honestly. Uh, like I wasn't expecting that I would get it. But yeah, finally, uh, some luck is coming towards myself and I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm not going to, well, that was actually the last uh, pull that I could do because I don't have any other, uh, like, I'm missing like 30 gems to pull one more. But oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm already happy. I got my first choice Kingslayer and I got my number one choice Rattle Spear. Um, like now we can speak about in terms of um, rewards uh, from the season ending rewards. Uh, like if you have finished anointed, you have a variety of uh, choices uh, which uh, skills or which rewards you can choose if you ask me the best possible choices from here is of course some warped skills because three star warped skills are amazing right and of course even with the three star warped skill there is like couple of main choices which are like more powerful than other ones um, the first choice in terms of warped skills is split pain bloom you are going to deal damage to extra enemy legion which is always great to have. That's a great warped skill. Maybe you want to build your uh, Sapphire Fedric. You are going to pick Split, uh, split Pain Bloom. After that, I think Super Ravage is a great skill to have. In general, Nitrock is a meta warp it for syndrome and fragor so if you are if you are going to choose uh, like any warp it skill uh, my advice would be like especially if you are marksman player uh, like super ravage and uh, uh, hasty stone aura is a great choices of course even super concentration but if you are going to compare uh, super concentration with uh, super ravage i think super ravage is much much better uh, like split pain bloom is great super ravage is great um, hasty stone Tone aura is great um, even like variable chain strike is great like generally three star the warped skills is hard to get uh, that's why uh, if you are not prioritizing legendary tokens uh, then uh, my advice would be to get the uh, at least one uh, three star warped skill which will be helpful for you uh, if you finish season conqueror like me uh, honestly from these ones uh, the, these warpeds there is like uh, fatal bite which can be great in a couple of warpits especially damage dealer warpits for the physical damage uh, outpost of rage that's the warped skill which is great for hero pair which is uh, dealing damage throughout the rage skill and of course like super follow-up major warped skill i think from this one some um, uh, super follow-up outburst of rage and fatal bite is the best choices uh, of course yet again i will repeat if you don't want to get the legendary tokens that's the other choices actually in terms of conqueror five legendary tokens is not that impressive in my opinion and that's why i would highly recommend to choose the warped skills uh, because in general it's not that easy to get three star warped skill in general in this game and like as as you have been uh, following my channel you understand how much i like uh, warped system in general uh, for the enduring um, season ending rewards i guess we have same type of um, uh, warped skills but for the lesser price uh, nothing has been changed and of course uh, like here for the conqueror we have legendary tokens five and for the enduring we have only two um, yet again if you finish your season on enduring i wouldn't recommend to go for the legendary token uh, which is simply just two which is not uh, not much uh, here i think it's mandatory to just pick uh, this three star warped skill which will be uh, helpful for you more than these two legendary tokens uh, in the game of course we have um, uh, common uh, system season season ending rewards 
From here, of course, uh, Legendary Ascension Emblem is always number one choice. But don't forget that um, basic CP recovery potions is important for the especially starting the season because you are going to rush to Darklings because you want to simply up, like level up your legendary heroes to be relevant as fast as possible. So you will be able to participate in wars. Um, and that's the main fun in this game in general, especially whenever you are starting the new season. Uh, so yeah, here is pretty obvious, um, uh, like number one choices are Legendary Ascension Emblem and these CP Recovery Potions. Try to get as much as possible because uh, like that's the most useful thing you, you can get from here besides um, Legendary Ascension Emblem. Now, well, that's all I wanted to speak uh, for the rewards of the new season. Of course, I will try to save up some more gem until the new season will start and I will try my luck for uh, Wheel of Destiny. Uh, in terms of artifacts we got, we got Kingslayer, we got Rattlespear, I can't say anything bad after getting Rattlespear because it was my number one choice and that's the best artifact in general for myself because I am a Kinara player, that's the only legendary hero I have ever awakened so far in the game uh, as a free to play player, so like um, I'm super super happy, super super excited uh, and I hope everybody will get their number one choice artifacts from this compendium because like artifacts really really matter in this game uh, in general i hope you like the video because uh, looking at the free to play rewards might not be that exciting but uh, from my side uh, i tried my best to save up as much gems as possible uh, like i was gathering i was make doing events and in general i think uh, free to play players should be thinking twice uh, whenever they are spending some gems gems um, on the game uh, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation to make content for this amazing game um, i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck